I am Liz Wright. Welcome to Live Your Best Life. The only thing that matters now is living by the power of this wonderful new creation life. We're going to become an undefeatable force of radiating glory, and we are rising up strong now in this hour. Hi, everybody. Welcome to this week's very special episode of Live Your Best Life with me, Liz Wright. I want to begin today's um, conversation with you, well, me sharing my heart, really, um, with prayer, because what I'm about to share is something that the Lord has spoken to me, and it's an invitation to all of us. It's so holy. It's so special. I want to go slowly, first of all, praying that in the midst of your busy lives right now, just for this next half an hour, the Holy Spirit will really grace you to hear Jesus's invitation to you, what he's saying to you, that you'd really hear this because it's, um, as we hear this invitation and we respond to it, our whole lives will change. The way we've known how we walk with the Lord will change, how we have understood ourselves, just I, I feel, I feel the holiness of the invitation and I, and the the like the, the the awe of God on it, and I feel the urgency in His heart as well. You know, it's a it's a critical time right now, and it's He wants to He wants to take us into His heart and into a completely different level. So, if you can, like I say lots of times, if you can for these next sort of 20, 30 minutes, just if you can, just stop and just listen. To let this be a bubble that I create for you and Jesus to communicate with each other through. And honestly, with all my heart, I pray that it will be a life-changing moment for you. I know it will. So Jesus, I do agree with your heart right now that every single one of the family listening, every single person listening or watching this show right now would be graced would be graced by Holy Spirit right now to be able to hear the invitation that you're extending and to be transformed, to experience an encounter with your love like never before as you extend this invitation and that they would experience empowerment and a shift in the understanding of the, the power of who they are as now one's walking containing you and the... Um, the holy invitation, the life transforming invitation, Lord, help us to, that you're extending to us, help us to hear what you're saying and not just hear, but right now to step in, to step in and life as we have known it in our relationship with you to completely change. I really feel that family, that it's a demarcation moment. So I agree with your heart, Lord. I release your grace. I release your Holy Spirit to move and to enable us to receive. Amen. Amen. So I think I'm going to begin and then I will share with you what happened to me last weekend. I'm going to share with you a scripture. And as I pray, as I read, I pray that you'll hear the Lord's, the beginning of this invitation flowing through the words, that you won't read them, or you won't listen to them as I'm reading them, I should say, rejecting them, feeling unqualified or, you know, anything else, the filters that can, that can stop us from receiving truth. I pray you will hear in these words now, the beginning of what the Lord is saying to you right now. You know, you're hearing this, you're watching this by his divine appointment. He's orchestrated this moment for you. This is all about you and him, honestly. So just listen with your heart, open your heart, just listen to these words. It's from Song of Solomon, chapter four, verse nine. This is Jesus speaking to you, no matter how you've been behaving, no matter how unqualified you might feel, no matter how smashed, battered and bruised, no matter how much of, how weak you might feel, this is his truth. This is how Jesus sees you right now. For you reach into my heart. With one flash of your eyes, I am undone by your love. My beloved, 
my equal, my bride. You leave me breathless. I'm overcome by merely a glance of your worshipping eyes, for you have stolen my heart. I am held hostage by your love and by the graces of righteousness now shining upon you. I'm held hostage by your love. That's what the Lord's saying to you right now. And as I read those words, I could feel the intensity, the, the desire of Jesus to be known by us. Wow. So for us to be convinced of his love and for us to be known, for us to know him, for him to be known by us. So last weekend, I woke up and I was just sitting with Jesus, just focusing my heart's attention on him. And I suddenly began to feel gripped. I felt the holy awe of God and the soberness and the holiness of God of the moment as he began to speak to me for the bride for all of us it was very personal I it impacted my life but he first began to communicate with me about the holiness of um, the first of all the international mentoring community which is of our international mentoring community that is what I am responsible for and it's the place that through me he's invited me to gather people at his feet in but it was beyond that it was for for the holy gatherings those that can hear his heart right now to come aside and to come and be with him for each of us individually and then for these precious holy gathering places that he's forming in the earth right now some digital like our international mentoring community is it's online and some of it just in our homes but there's a difference these holy gathering places are places where Jesus is choosing to be so present among us as preparation places for his bride as he begins to share himself with us, to trust his heart to us. So where I began to feel undone, really undone, and the holy filler was the, of the Lord, was I felt, excuse me if I start crying, I felt... Phew, Really hear this. I felt something as much as I could take of how much Jesus wants to be known by us. He wants to trust his heart to us individually and to us as companies of people. And in this place, we will, this was all flooding into me as, as, as expanded knowledge coming from his heart. Those of us that would say yes to this next level of revelation, it's like it's, uh, you know, the, the Song of Solomon is the journey of the Shulamite, right, representative of us as the bride responding to Jesus and our relationship with him. And some at some point through the chapters, we start to see her emerging as a mature bride where her, she becomes consumed with Jesus. Her focus is fully him. It's now off her own needs. She trusts him to be the one that will meet every single need. I felt that shift for those of us that can hear his voice and respond to this holy desire, passion, passion of Jesus' heart, this invitation that he, I felt like um, that we would step into this mature expression where we become consumed by him. We're in this place largely our journeys have, about, have been about our own healing, which is legitimate, right? Our soul journey, getting the strength to do life well and so on and learning about him in this place of knowing his heart, of really moving at this, to this next level of intimacy with, with God, with the heart of God, we would become whole. We would be so mm, delivered of self consciousness really we would just become completely consumed and satisfied fulfilled and empowered in our relationship with Jesus and what broke me 
was how vulnerable I felt, which is a strange word to use, right, describing God, because he's God. But I felt his own choice to be vulnerable with us, to, to invite us into this depth with him where we could he, we could really know him, where he can reveal the secret things of his heart to us. And I was so struck by the truth that this is why he died. Well, of course, to bring forth his, us as a new creation now filled with him. We are the wife of the lamb. It's like he's moving us into this place where we will begin to understand him this way as our bridegroom God at a different level and us as the wife of the lamb, where we in this place will begin to co-reign with him in the restoration of all things, all that he wants to fulfill in this planet, where as his image, we are, we are more fully convinced in our heart. We're completely convinced in our heart, actually, and we begin to move with him from this place of, of oneness, um, with every need met. I mean, it's just, it's quite, um, it's quite difficult finding language, but I'm sure to articulate adequately the holiness of this invitation, but I'm sure you can feel it in your hearts and in your spirits. This is real. He wants to undo us with the beauty of who he is, of, of the majesty. He wants to wow us and exhilarate us and transform us. And it all be about knowing him, seeing him, like never before, he wants a place, he said to me, where he can rest his head. He wants to rest his head, rest his heart, rest his thoughts, his, his mind, his emotions, the emotions of God. He wants to rest them in our hearts. And so at the end of this time, I'm, I mean, just respond to him as you want to as I'm speaking, but at the end of our time, if we're, as I finish sharing, I will take us into a response as well, if it would be helpful for you. But um, there have been, so at the, around the same time, I've been in a whole series of encounters with Jesus that is, is all to do with this, different facets of this same invitation, this same promise and place that he's inviting us to to enter into now to live from forever forever you know I feel like the way we have lived our Christian life is over as we step into this experience it really is over you know the days of apathetic Christianity are over the, the, where we've been limping along and trying to get healed in life it's a different day and of course Holy Spirit as we say yes Holy Spirit will take us there because obviously he's leading, Holy Spirit's work is to lead us into fullness of truth and to bring about, you know, he's going to bring about sovereignly what he's inviting us to experience. This is the desire of Jesus's heart right now. He wants a bride who is in a mature relationship, heart to heart, you know, in that marriage union, that perfect marriage union with him where each heart is fully known by the other. Holy Spirit, wow. So the other experience that I had was, um, again, very recently, this has been in a series, so you've heard me share one of these before, and then this was the second one. So again, the Lord took me onto a path in the Spirit, I was in a time of worship, and I was just on, on the path, and I could see Jesus in front of me, in the throne, surrounded by light, in the throne room, as the throne, right? He is the throne. And as I looked, I saw beams of light, like shafts, great powerful shafts of light pouring out of his heart, shooting out of his heart. And they were pe piercing out and wrapping around the earth and just, you know, uh, completing, filling everything. And then he turned around as I watched and he walked towards me and he said to me, the heart of God is the center of everything. The heart of God is the throne because the heart of God is the person of who he, of Christ, of who he is. It's his being, it's his emotions, it's his thoughts, it's his nature. That as the heart of God is, it, it, you know, it's our inner self, it's our mind, emotions, will, it's who we are. It, who he is in the core of his being is the center of everything, is the throne because he is the throne. 
And then as he said that, he put his heart next to mine. And we, became, we melded. It's like it was a beyond an experience of even the necessity where we choose to surrender to him. We choose to trust him. That's even that carries to a degree a sense of separateness. This was a melding together where everything that he is, every emotion of his heart, every thought, thought, every intention of God, we become one with him. One heart, one life, one expression, just beautiful, beautiful, two hearts as one in, the, in this incredible divine mystery and divine romance. And then as that happened, shoots shoots of light, the lights that I'd been watching coming out of Jesus's heart began to come out of mine. And then as we stood there together, I, I watched as this massive pillar, pillar of light shot out from our now merged hearts, merged spirits as like a, just a, I don't even know how to describe it adequately. It was just a force of power that moved up as a massive pillar, a massive column of light. And it exploded out across the universe and it began to wrap around all of the earth and transforming light began to move out and, and eradicate the darkness. You know, like it says in the scriptures in a number of places, one John and Ephesians, I think it is, Corinthians, where it, talk, you know, it's, it talks about the light, the light, uh, the light shines into the darkness and the darkness can never overcome the light. The light shines and the, it, it, it pierces the darkness and the darkness ceases to exist because the light of, of, of Christ, it's the, it's the very presence and person and power of who our God is. And in this place, I knew in my spirit that this was me experiencing something of the life of co-reigning, where from the oneness that we have and are being awakened into being able to fully experience now, that we're going to release the light of God in an unprecedented way. We're going to co-reign with him. Dunamis power is releasing from union. And so I don't believe that these are, we are transforming into this, changing into this. I believe we are awakening to what is already reality. The Lord is tuning our senses in, you know, he's tuning us in to be able to see and hear and feel and know with our entire being that this is the place that we live from. And the Lord said to me, as you enter into my heart into the center of all that is you come home and so that holy spirit and that in this place we are going to live family with hearts that are completely secure completely fulfilled not intermittently but home so no matter where what family unit you're in whether you're single or married or have a home or don't have a home or whatever your circumstances are there's a level of experience of God now that is that is coming that it, he's inviting it into as we as we come to know him as we come to know him in this way where our hearts become exhilarated his heart now pressed into our heart, the revelation of who he is, him opening his heart to us in this way. We are going to come fully alive. We are going to experience living. We're going to come home. We're going to live in total security. I felt it. I felt it. I was given a taste of what's coming. Total rest, living in total rest internally from within his heart, one with his emotions, one with his thoughts one with the mind of God. We have the mind of Christ, right? The mind of Christ isn't, isn't a stream of intellectual ponderings. The mind of Christ is the revelation of who he is coming into our heart. His thoughts are the expression of his intention, of his nature, of who he is. And he, this is why he died, right? Ultimately, the, the culmination of the ages is a people 
who are married to God, who are in a perfect covenant union with him. And so there's a, the acceleration is underway. This level of experience is being ignited. Even right now, as I'm speaking, I know some of you will be already beginning to experience him. And I encourage you to listen to this over and over because I'm speaking words straight from the heart of God. I'm extending a holy invitation that will change everything. It will change everything. And then the final experience I just want to share with you, and then I'll, I'll lead us in a response. We'll just finish in that. Um, I was taken again, um, just in the spirit, praying with, with a group of our beautiful intercessors one day, and was just taken in the spirit into heaven. And I found myself with Jesus, and for as far as I could see for miles and miles ahead of me, were just acres and acres and acres of vineyards. And he said, this is the wine of celebration. It's the wedding wine. And it's, whew, whew, wow. And there's just acres and acres and acres of grapes growing for this beautiful celebration wine. Whatever that's going to translate to be in our experience in the future, that's what he was, he was showing me. And I felt this immense peace as I just walked next to Jesus along the vineyards. It, it all, they were all up alongside a hillside in heaven. We were sort of on a high place and I was looking down into the valleys and it was just acres and acres and acres. And I, I felt absolute exquisite peace and contentment. And, um, and I just knew you know, everything, heaven is focused on this. Jesus's intention, the desire of his heart, the purpose of the cross, all of history, everything, all of all of God's intervention with mankind is ultimately leading to this being our experience. And he's inviting us into this now. And from this place, like I said, divine dunamis power will explode out of us as we know him this way, as we awaken into becoming one heart one life expressing dunamis from intimacy and everything will change and this he also said to me will is what will release unprecedented transformational power in the earth so be encouraged the best is yet to come so i in finishing let's just take a moment jesus to respond to respond to this and you may need to listen to this again you know a few times let it become so real to your heart and spend time with him on this until that you feel holy spirit really ignite this truth in you Ooh, so jesus we do with all of our heart the best of our ability we say yes we want this with all of our heart too. We want to know you in the manner in which you want to open your heart to us. And we ask Holy Spirit that you will help us steward the presence and the heart of Jesus. With the spirit of awe tutoring our hearts and helping us from treating things that are so holy, treating your heart, Jesus, that is so holy with over-familiarity or in any way that is not appropriate. Help us to love you and value you and receive you and steward your heart in a way that, because our desire, Lord, is that we would do that. You are the treasure of our life. You are your love. For us, your, your giving your heart to us is the most holy thing, is the greatest treasure of our life. You are our treasure. And Lord, we, as you know, we can be so weak in our relationship with you and you, you know that and you love us anyway. Lord, we thank you that we do. The truth is that you, we do ravish your heart. You are completely in love with us. And so we say yes, Lord, we say yes. And I pray for every brother and sister watching this all around the world that each one would be convinced in their heart that they would experience your love for them 
really experience it like they never have now and be completely obsessed with you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It's a new day. Everything else that's gone before us is over. You're resetting us now, making us ready as the wife of the Lamb to co-reign with you, to live from within your heart, to live, to come home, to come home. Thank you, Jesus, and to live from that place of fulfillment and peace and rest and power no matter what our earthly circumstances, to release your transforming light from that place that the earth would, you know, that was the other thing that the Lord showed me, um, that the great awakening, the great harvest that so many of us are getting glimpses of and faith for, it will come because we're awake and we're shining and we're living in this place of oneness, heart to heart, and we're releasing the light, we're radiating Christ, people will just look and they'll see him and they'll feel his power and they'll awaken and they'll change and they'll be set free because they can't not, because they're literally coming into the embrace of the presence of God. And our power that we release in the spirit realm is unprecedented and there's nothing that can resist it. It's, trans it's him, it's transforming love encountering every situation that needs to be restored so amen amen i know that your life will change from this point <clears throat> we love to hear from you so do feel free to write in and share and we will be praying for you and i will be praying for you as you go through this week and like i said just listen to this again until this fully ignites in your heart it's a different day so love you look forward to being with you again next week god bless